Let's tie a red midge. We start off with a TMC 2302. This is a size 14 using Uni 17 knot thread. Tied in at the eye and wrap it clear back into the bend. I mean, deep into the bend of the hook. I'm going to take a piece of red tinsel. What the tinsel is, is a red braid that I unbraided and just took one strand and I'm going to use it as my Ocoli or butt of the fly and it's red and it's flashy. Just barely a hint. Just to pique the interest of the fish. I'm going to give about four or five wraps. And tie it off. And trim it off. Now, I have a stripped peacock quill that's been dyed red, and I'm going to use that as my abdomen. I've had these strip coils soaking in what is basically hand lotion to keep them supple, but sometimes they still crack on me. I'm, you're going to see that I've cut a little taper. Let me show that to you. You see how I got that little bit of a taper? Yeah. I'm going to build up the thread a little bit, body just a little bit. I like my midges really, really skinny. Because from what I see in nature, they're really skinny. Now I like using these quills or peacock curl because they end up having, you know, a band of color but a, a dark edge to them which which enhances the ribbing and segmentation of the abdomen of the fly. Bring it up to about the three-quarter mark. I'm going to tie off my thread See how I just a little bit of that flash, that tinsel showing up at the body, at the uh, back end. You see, they it cracked on me. So what I do is I go back in and don't let it bit, beat me out of shape, but I take my thread and go to the back again and tie in my quill. I'm taking out some of the material, so you're just gonna, I'm just going to tie it in just to get a little strength because I know that quill is not is weak, and I'll just trim off the excess. You'll excuse the shape of my fingers. Um, it's fishing season, and my hands are all beat up. <laughs> you start again and wrap that quill. My intent is to butt them up against this section.
but it gives it a beautiful segmented body. What I do is I take Hairline's uh, peacock eyes that have been dyed and use an eraser and just rub off the little shiny things and then use that quill that's left over. Trim it off. What I have here now are some red goose biots that I'm going to use as my wing pads. This is the one time you really want uh, not very wide or thin goose biots. Most of the time you want really wide ones because you make bodies, but these are just wing pads, so just a sliver of, of color. I'm putting in that wing pad on the other side. And nail down. Now I've got a piece of medallion sheeting. I believe this is uh, modeled olive brown. And I've got a strip that's eh, 8 to 3 sixteenths of an inch. And I'm going to use it as my wing case. Strap it down. Now I've got some Oral B dental floss as my gills. I learned this from my buddy Greg Garcia. And he uses it on his Rojo Mitch. And I figure if it's good enough for Garcia, it's good enough for me. And it looks pretty good. I suspect Garcia was tying flies, needing something for gills, and he just happened to be flossing his teeth at the same time. <laughs> now I'm going to take some more of that peacock that's been dyed, the eyes that have been dyed red. I'm going to use that as my legs. I just love this stuff. It's got a red tinge to it. Got all the incandescence and shimmy of regular peacock and being dyed red at the same time. Can't beat that. I'm tying off my thread so that I can take advantage of the rotary reaction of my vise. And what I do is I put a ackle pliers at the end of the peacock and I let the weight of the Hackle pliers hold my ostrich, oh, excuse me, peacock curl tight. See, I just I just let the weight pull on it. I take, tie off my peacock curl. Trim back the peacock curl on top so I don't get so much bulk on top of there. I'm bringing over my medallion sheeting, which is my wing case. Pull it taut wraps, trim off the excess medallion sheeting.
pull over my first wing pad and then pull over my other wing pad. Here be careful. I've had gotten a little too rough and actually pulled my wing pad out. So just take a take a moment. I'm going to whip finish. Trim off my goose biots. I'll fuss with the gills a little bit, just trim them back. Try to even them out. All right, let me take a red marker and just touch up that white thread. I also touched up the abdomen while I was at it. Use a little bit of UV nonsense and just brush it on. Gives me a protective coating. You can still see the, you can still see the segmentation. In fact, if anything, that UV resin brings it out. Hit it with my laser. little piece of lint there. There we go. Hit it with my laser. Put a little bit more on the wing pads and the wing case. Doesn't that look like the shoulder mounted laser on the first Predator movie? And I like a little bit more of a hump, so I'm adding a little bit there on that wing pad on the back end of it and have it trail into the body. Yeah, here we go. And that's my red midge pattern, or coronamid.